everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rabia and welcome to video number 17 for me. Today I am going to be creating a Golden Globes inspired celebrity makeup look. So this makeup look isn't necessarily inspired by one celebrity in particular. It's about that whole healthy looking radiant skin, minimal makeup with a pop of color and a pop of either your eyes or your lips. And today I obviously decided to do my eyes that I saw on the red carpet. So it's not any one celebrity inspired in general. It's uh, for almost like just a collective what I noticed at the Golden Globes. And yeah, I really had fun creating this makeup look. I tried some new techniques out as well as some products that I love. So I have really oily skin and I was able to create a look that is long wearing radiant and not greasy so i really hope that you guys are able to find some really great techniques with the video if you do enjoy the video please consider subscribing and liking the video and let's just get into it so we're going to be starting off with the lms pro collagen marine cream this is a little bit of a thicker moisturizer but i like it because i feel like it'll give me that really glowy, moisturized, hydrated looking skin. I'm just gonna dab a little onto my skin and push it in. It smells really nice too. Okay, and then to continue, I'm gonna be using the Youth to the People Kale and Aloe Sunflower Eye Cream. Just the white eye cream. And again, this is just to make sure everything looks really hydrated and healthy. Like, the thing I liked about the makeup and most makeup celebrities do anyways is that it's really light and just looks like super effortless so i'm just applying this underneath my eyes and i'm going to push it in with my ring finger and i just want to get into all my crusts because i have really dry and dry and you always want to use your ring finger when you're putting on eye cream because it's the one that has the lightest touch and to further enhance that moisture i'm going to be going in with the bobby brown vitamin enriched face base this is actually this is a primer that smells really good and it just awakens your skin and you apply this also by pressing it into your skin it's like a thicker moisturizer so next i'm going to be doing a step that's a little out of order for me but i'm going to fill in my brows i've noticed with a lot of celebrity makeup artists they always do the brows first and i mean i guess it makes sense because the brows kind of frame your face so I'm going to be going in with my Benefit Brow Wiz in the shade 4.5. I'm just going to be doing light hair-like strokes through the eyebrow. And again, with the celebrities, they didn't really look overly glam. So like everything was really soft and natural. So that's why I'm just going to do really soft strokes through the brow hairs and just mimic hair. And kind of just fill in wherever I need it. Okay, so now we're going to move on to foundation. The foundation I'm choosing to use today is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation in the shade Syracuse. I'm going to apply this on a brush, and they most of the celebrities look really airbrushed and also like they're not wearing that much makeup. So my tip for that is to start in the center of your face and then work your way outwards. So once you're done applying most of your product with the brush and you're kind of liking the coverage that you have and everything that you wanted covered is covered, you're gonna go in with a beauty blender and you're just going to press everything into the skin. And this gives you the most like natural looking finish, I feel, because a beauty blender will pick up any excess product as well as blend it into your skin more seamlessly than a foundation brush. Radiant Creamy Concealer from NARS and this is in the shade Macadamia. And I'm gonna go under my eyes with this. And I'm not going to be as dramatic as I usually am, like I'm not going to bring it down to the sides of my nose. This is really just to lighten up the under eyes and brighten it up. Celebrities on the red carpet don't really look like they put on too much. Okay, and at this point I'm just going to dampen my beauty blender that I was using with um, the All Nighter setting spray from Urban Decay. This just helps blend the concealer out a little bit better and also increases the longevity of its wear. And I'm just going to press the concealer into my skin. Honestly, this concealer wears really nice. It actually does look very natural on the skin. Okay, so now to set, I'm going to go in with my Hourglass Mineral Veil setting powder. 
And I'm just going to take this on a big fluffy brush. This powder is so beautiful. So next I'm going to go in and kind of chisel out my face. And for that I'm going to be using the Sephora Baked Micro Smooth Powder in the shade Deep. And I'm just going to take that on a Morphe Y11 brush. I'm going to hit that onto my cheekbones, the temples, and also underneath my chin just and on my nose. And just is just to give my face a little bit more structure so that if you're photographed, it shows up. And I like to use a foundation powder because I feel like it gives a really natural finish. Okay, and then for the nose, I'm just going to go in with a Lexi 205 tapered blending brush just to get a little bit more precision. But again, I'm not really contouring my nose. It's just this is only so that it sh shapes the face so your face isn't flat when you take pictures. So I'm literally just shading the sides of my nose. I'm just going to kind of create like a little dollop around this edge right here to kind of give my nose a more pointed effect. So I know this is looking kind of crazy right now. So I'm going to go on with my beauty blender and just blend around these edges to mesh this bronzing contouring situation that we've got going on. Okay, so now we're going to work on the eyes and to create some shadow in there, I'm actually going to go in with one of my favorite palettes of 2018, which is the Dose of Colors Dead DX KD Frankation Palette. And I'm going to start off with the shade Necessary. I'm going to work that into my crease just to give my eyes some definition and shape so I'm just going to tilt my head back and work in the upper socket of my eye and so you can see it's just creating like a light gradient in my eye so it gives me your eye a little bit more shape honestly the shadows in this palette are so beautiful like they blend so well into each other so you're gonna see this palette you saw this palette in my best of 2018 and you're going to see, I actually did a video creating two other looks with the palette, so I'm excited for you guys to see that. Next I'm going to go in with the Sigma E25 blending brush and the shade Churro. And I'm just going to pack this on right underneath and I'm also going to slightly start winging out my eyeshadow because I noticed that everyone they didn't really have a wing, but they had that winged effect created with the eyeshadow. So as you can see, I'm working this right now right into my crease. What I'm going to do is start working it also in this outer V and kind of, and this is done with like such a light touch because I want to make sure that I can map it out before I pack on color. But I want to just wing out from the um, where the two lash lines meet and it, towards like I would ideally my brow would end right here so I'm going to just accentuate that outward. This trick actually makes your eyes look more awake, more bigger and kind of gives you like an instant like like facelift effect. So now that I have like that wing shape created I'm just going to work really lightly into defining it. I'm just going to drag this color onto my lower lash line for definition. Um, most of that opacity I want right at the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to work with whatever's left towards the inside. But I want the most drama definition to be on this outer corner. And I also want to connect the this wing to this lower lash line as well. To blend out those edges, I'm going to go back in with that for a less brush and just start blending in circular motions. I'm not going in with any additional product. This is just to make sure everything is blended and it looks nice. And I'm just going to go around everywhere that I apply that churro shade. One of the trends that I noticed at the Golden Globes was that either they had a dramatic eye makeup or a, just a dramatic lip and really simple eyes. And also I noticed that most of the people who did a eye look had like a glitter going on but it was soft it was just something that reflected in the light and so to achieve that look I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Moon Dust palette and I'm going to go in with the shade sorry lithium right here and I'm just going to pack it onto my eyelids with my finger and I just press it on and you can see it's like not super glittery where it's like 
a pigment, but it's just glitter enough where it catches the light really nice. Urban Decay Moondus shadows are my favorite glitters to actually work with. They're so easy to apply. They last for a really long time and they give me the effect that I want with the glitter. Going with the shade Magenta, which is this beautiful purple with iridescence in it. And I'm just going to pack that on top to give a little bit more color. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but it's so pretty. And it's so glittery, like. And my mascara of choice recently has been the IT Superhero Mascara. I'm just gonna coat my top and lower lashes with this. Give myself some drama. I'm gonna go with my favorite neutral tone blush, which is MAC Gingerly. Apply that on the apples of my cheeks. I apply it to the apple and then also just lightly blend it back too. Okay, so next to finish off my face, I'm gonna go in with highlight. None of the subjects look like they were wearing anything blinding. Just again, it was very healthy, luminous, dewy looking skin. So I'm gonna go in with one of my favorites to get that look. This is Becca's Prosecco Pop, this beautiful golden color. And I'm just gonna apply this to the high points of my face, which are my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid bow. I'm also gonna apply some to the upper parts of my brow. I'm gonna pinch my brush and also apply it into my inner corner. Now we're looking like the Instagram highlight to people, but I'm gonna go back in with my beauty blender and just blend this into my skin to just mimic the really healthy glow. So you can see here, dramatic, here, more so like skin. Okay, you guys, so I'm back with that base dry, and I also took that time to apply some lashes. These are the Ardell Double Wispy Lashes. To finish off this look, I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite lipsticks, the Wet n Wild Liquid Katsu in the shade Gary Mocha. And because none of the celebrities really had a matte lipstick on the carpet, they all had kind of a sheen, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Tartiest Lip Shimmer in the shade Insta Famous, and just hit this onto the center of my lip. Okay, you guys, and that completes this look. I really hope you enjoyed the video and the techniques that I shared. I really hope you are able to recreate this more natural, radiant-looking skin. I do have oily skin, and I do think that this look looks really healthy and not greasy. And so I really hope you are able to recreate it, use these techniques, use some of the products that I mentioned, and create this look on your own. And yeah, so with that, with that, I'm going to end the video. Please do consider subscribing and also following me on Instagram. It is at Grabs Beauty. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.